Tar is a traditional therapy for psoriasis, and it works. There's some new formulations that Dr. Linda Stein discussed at the Las Vegas Dermatology Seminar. Dr. Stein, what's on the market now? Well, tar is actually a very effective agent for the treatment of psoriasis, and we've been using it since the 1920s, especially with phototherapy. And we get great clearing, and the clearing we see is actually very durable, meaning that you clear the patient and they remain clear for a long period of time. The problem is it's been very messy and it stains, and we do have some new formulations. There's a liquid formulation as well as a foam, and they're both much more cosmetically elegant. I understand that uh, this is popular in Europe. Um, is it catching on here, or should more dermatologists be aware of it? Tar is popular in Europe, and, and because of its history of being not very acceptable by patients, it hasn't been used much in the United States. But I think it is making a comeback now that we have better vehicles. Are you using any of these new formulations in your practice? I, I have been, and especially we do a lot of phototherapy at my center, and combining the tar with the phototherapy gives patients a great result. Other than tar, there's other topical therapies. Can you mention a couple of those? I think for the treatment of psoriasis, all patients need some form of topical therapy. And our gold standard is topical steroids. We have some great options that are very, very efficacious. But I also think that by adding a vitamin D analog to our treatment, we get better long-term control and we actually help to maintain healthy skin. Is atrophy a concern with the topical steroids? Atrophy is one of our main concerns, especially with the potent topical steroids. And when we look at the studies, we find it's really not reported very commonly. But when we actually look at the more uh, objective studies, we find that it is something that occurs fairly rapidly, even within the first few weeks. But fortunately, the vast majority of it is reversible when you stop using the drug. Thank you. Any last thoughts to dermatologists about topical therapies? I think that as we get more and more great biologic agents, we have to remember that topical therapy is still important for our patients with the most mild disease, even for those with the more severe disease for those resistant lesions. Reporting for Global Medical News Network, I'm Sherry Bosher.